Hi guys, Mike here. Welcome to today's project, an industrial style outdoor table for my daughter and her family. This will be a two video project. So today I'm going to do the laminated top and then the second video will be all the metal work, construction, welding, lathe work, assembly. So let's go and start the top. So these are my pieces of timber laid out. I've put them in the order I want them to finish up in. This centre one has got a couple of bad knots here, which I'm going to cut out. So I'm going to cut out about 40mm, so I'll make that the centre one. Um, and then I will trim it down to about 900. So these two will also get trimmed down in size. Once I, I actually might do a lot of extra trimming. So I'm going to take them over to the bench saw. Um, I'm going to screw a straight edge to the side. I'll put two screws in that and then I can run it along the fence. That way I'll get one edge nice and straight and then I can cut the other edge using the um, fence on the saw. And I'm going to cut each one, swap them over upside down, up right side up, up so that we'll get the saw cut so that we make sure that any out of 90 degrees at the blade, if it's slightly out, then it will still match. I'll make a little demonstration of that in a minute. Right, so let's go over to the bench saw and cut the and trim the sides up. Okay, here's the demo. Imagine these, I've got two sets of three. These are the piece I'm going to laminate for my top. I come over to my saw and I either set my blade with my square or I set it with my little digital protractor and I'm gonna and we're presuming I've got my blade square. But what I I'm gonna exaggerate and I'm gonna put my blade out of square. So this is just demonstration. So I'm presuming my blade is square. I've set it up and it's a, it's a little bit out. This is just an exaggeration. So you can see it's a lot out. But let's say it's one degree out or half a degree out. So when we cut our boards to laminate them together, they're going to be slightly off 90 degrees. I'm just going to exaggerate it so we can see it in a worst case scenario. So here's my top. Normally I'd put I'd put my V on it like so so we can cut it and put it back together. <laughs> first one so I've cut that one so then I'm going to cut this face and they're all facing up second one I'm going to cut my third face I should really put my zero clearance. Right. As you can see, it's not going to work. If the, it, like I said, I've done this to exaggerate it, but that's what we're going to end up like when we try and glue it up. So I'm not going to alter the saw and I'm just going to leave that there. Right, three more pieces. 
we'll do the same put our triangle on it but this time I'm going to go up down up down so I've marked on here up down up down so I'm going to cut that one up I'm going to turn that one over and cut it down and turn it back up to cut this side so let's do that And as you can see, same angle. So this one, sorry, this one, I'm going to put that down. I can still do that cut. And then this time, I'm going to do this one up. Oop. Turned it off too soon. And this one, I'm going to do down. So this time, our marking, that's the difference. So that against that. And all I did, so that. against that. So all I did was wrote, turn the pieces over as I cut them and that allowed for any out of 90 degrees in the blade. I hope that makes sense. Put a comment in and tell me how you would work on that. Um, I'd be really interested. So if you're a tiny bit out and you do it, when you join them they're great. All right. Let's carry on with the table build. Okay, that's them all trimmed up. Now we're going to glue them up. So we'll head over back to the car park area. So since it's an outside job, I'm going to use this. It's a polyurethane glue. Um, just it's better for outside work.
Not sure how much of that actually I got it because my battery went flat. Um, so I've glued and clamped and I'll leave it for a few hours with the polyurethane. You can actually see it starting to foam. So today's job, I'm going to trim this to length, sand it, I've already sanded some of it, do a final sand, I'll actually turn it over, sand the base, the base will only get a rough sand, turn it back over, finish sand, then get a coat of finish on it, and then I can get back to finish the steel work. Delivery's tomorrow, um, so I'm going to be pushing it, it might be a long night. So we'll get on with it anyways. Okay, that's um, the bottom of the table finished, sanded. I did uh, an 80 grit rough course and then I've done 120 and because it's the bottom that's all it's going to get. So now I'm going to router some grooves for the, um, the metal supports to go into. Give it a quick coat of um, oil underneath so I can turn it over. Then I don't have to access that again and I'll just um, work on the top. Okay. Okay, I've marked out, I don't know if you can see it, there's a rectangle here, and that's to take these plates, which will fit in there, and this one is just a support, the other two have their leg, as you've seen, mounted, so I'm going to router these out. So I just chisel off. Just put a, an edge here because I'm going to eye it up to the end. I just like to have a, a nice straight line. Not like that. To bring it up to.
Okay, so you get the idea, that will be screwed in. Okay, one more to go. I'll do that one off camera. Okay, so that's all three slots cut. I haven't tried this one yet. Right, I've just been down our local mall and picked up my new teacup. They printed the um, emblems on my shirt and they had a spe Christmas special on doing cups. So I thought, yes, I'll have one of those. Only one in existence. Just for me. Okay, coat one done. I'll see you back in another four hours for the second coat. I'm really pleased the way the top came out. The 
finish is fantastic. It's really routed out, ready for the legs and the support underneath. I'll now start on the metal work. I've got two cross legs to make a support piece across the middle and then machine up some big oversized nuts to hold it all together. That will be in the next video. Thanks for coming along. Appreciate your time. Please like, subscribe and hit that bell icon. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks.